So, brothers and sisters, my vocation story started right when I was a baby, as a young lad, right? I can remember at the age of three, um, going through and praying the rosary. My parents were very, very hardcore Catholics in the sense that we always prayed every day in the morning and night. At night, I had an older brother, I have an older brother, and uh, I was always competing with him in every aspect. And so uh, they taught him how to pray the rosary, and so I too wanted to pray the rosary. So at three, three years old, as best as I could, I would pray the rosary. And it was just the beginning of my journey. You know, life was really, um, really nice for the first five years of my life. I grew up in a small town of El Paso, Texas with an older brother and mom and dad. Um, always going to church, always making sure we put church first. Um, Sunday and Wednesdays were important for us to go to church to make sure that we were filled with Christ. Um, it wasn't until I w the ages between five and six that my life took a turn. And my parents got divorced um, in the midst of the 70s. They got divorced. And it was there that my life took a different turn. My mom had to work two jobs in order to make sure that we had a roof over our heads and make sure that with his clothes on, on our backs and food on the table. So there was not really a time for, for us to go to church. And thank God, you know, God had a different plan. And he always does. He has plans for us all. Now, my next door neighbor, uh, Mrs. Hidalgo, and I'll never forget her. I love the woman. She's passed now. But she's a beautiful woman who took care of a Jesuit priest. And every Sunday, that Jesuit priest, Father Jack Dees, God bless his soul, he's up in heaven as well right now. I know he is. I, he would come to her house every Sunday for a meal, and he would say Mass for them in their home. And I was privileged enough to be invited over to their home every Sunday for a meal and to participate in Mass. And so for the first, you know, I don't know, five, six years of my life after that, up until I was about 12 or 13, that's how I was fed. I was fed with Christ by a priest, a wonderful priest who happened to be next door and give Mass every Sunday. From there, um, the priest taught me a lot during those years. He taught me a lot about um, prayer and taught me a lot about who Jesus was. At 13, you know, because he's religious, his order moved him to here, to Dallas of all places. So they moved him to J Dallas, and he was the principal over at uh, Ursula School, and he lived over in uh, the Jesuit residence over by um, Jesuit School, by St. Rita's. And so he lived there for many years, but it was when I was 13 that I really felt sad that everybody was leaving. My brother went to live with my dad. My dad was living in a different part of the town, and... Um, I lost my priest, so I felt really alone and by myself. And it is then, when I was 13, when I was in my darkest moment in my life, that Christ really came to me and called me to him. At 13, um, you know, God put me into a really dark sleep, and when I rose, I was a different person. I was totally transformed and wanted and desired to know him more. So at 13, I used to walk to um, St. Pius Church, which is about a mile, mile and a half away from my house. Um, and I used to walk there every Sunday to get to uh, participate in Mass. And then I would walk home. At 18, um, I finally learned how to drive and I bought my first car at 18. And so I started driving myself to church. And soon after I was driving myself to church, my, um, my grandmother asked if she could join me. And so I used to love to take my grandmother to church every Sunday. It was awesome. It became a, a her thing and a me thing. That we, Every Sunday, we would just go to church together. And after that, we would go to brunch, some restaurant. And then I'd take her to grocery store, to the movies, or to, yes, to play bingo, because that was her favorite thing to do, is to play bingo. Um, it was just quality time with my grandma. Um, at 21, 22, my mom decided that she wanted to to be part of that. So she came back to the church, and she started going to church with us. And it was just a wonderful experience to have the two most important women in my life journeying with me towards Christ, you know, and getting to know Christ. Um, but, you know, it, God has other plans. 